Well, yeah, we are back for more. Unlike our Canadian friends up in the north, uh, this is unboxing day, because uh, I got another model. Uh, this one actually took a little long to get here, uh, almost a month. Out of Japan is another uh, expansion to the Japanese models I got that you may have seen uh, me post about already. Uh, and there's still one more on the way, so, you know, this is the second to last one that I got with this major uh, expansion. Speaking of expansion, mind the track bed I'm laying out flat to use eventually in the display case to keep all these. But we'll go ahead and pop this sucker open and see what we got today. If I can figure out where to start, I think I gotta start here. On the underside. So... Jam it on in. <clears throat> it's always difficult to do this with one hand. I need a partner in crime here and hopefully not kill myself with these scissors. The big reveal seems to be all packaged up nicely for international travel. That's what you want to see. Got this off of eBay. I believe I did a straight up uh, purchase. It wasn't an auction or anything. It is brand new. And here's what we got. Cool little blue guy. People mover. However you want to call it. There's the official description. Tomex again. I'm really liking these Tomex models, I tell you. Um, I know a lot of people give Kato credit for being the best, but I've been fairly impressed with Tomex. My only complaint is sometimes their motors aren't the, the quietest, um, but sometimes they are. <laughs> Uh, and, you know, I think it's a hit or miss, but I th it almost seems like their newer ones are really, really good. And since this is a new one as well, hopefully it's just as good as I'm hoping. Three car set is what we got. Um, and I got it because I was looking at the various models that were out there and the, uh, the picture really sold me because it looked really neat. Blue is my favorite color. Um, let's pop it on open, see what we got, take a closer peek. Um, Rapido old school connectors, which is what I have on all my other sets. So one of the reasons why I got this. Uh, pretty nifty front end. Very slick. Lots of edges and daggers but it's still a streamlined look uh, first impressions it it doesn't weigh anything and in fact it feels like a McDonald's toy <laughs> it feels very cheap uh, unlike some of the other ones I've gotten from Tomix which is a bit of a disappointment but it it looks nice I guess it's pretty nifty good detail on the inside um, I did not get lights for this one, but I suppose I can always add them in. Uh, I assume I could if I wanted to. So we'll see. Maybe one day I'll get some Tomix lights for this. But uh, it wasn't my plan initially uh, to do so. So that's the back car. Set you down there. Get another look at it. All together now I can keep everything in focus there's a good preview shot <laughs> I can use as the thumbnail I assume this middle one is the motor which they tend to be on these Japanese sets and it is this one definitely weighs more as motors probably should 
outside feels the same kind of cheapo plastic as the other guy there. Very <laughs> low grade. Uh, it sort of feels like it's not a ding against the model per se, because it still looks fairly nice. And like I said, all the details seem pretty good. Um, it just it doesn't feel solid, I guess. Um, like a solid toy or you know a well-built thing that will endure uh, should but um, you know what can you do first impressions anyway there's some yellow up there I don't know what that's for interesting oh it must be the seats, seats yellow seats I wonder if that's authentic or not to have those bright yellow seats Hello. 今日は家族と一緒に豪華な列車を近鉄島風に乗りました。So <笑> Uh, yeah, that's one and then of course the front end if there's even a difference between the front and back I don't see one so far, but Let's unwrap and see No, mm, no? I think it's the same thing I was gonna say there's more blue on the other one, but I, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> they look the same um, Yeah, they got the logo thing on the other side no? Oh, that must have been on the engine car. Okay, well, there's one, there's two, and that one fell. The blue, I got it because it, mainly because it was blue and it looked cool. But the blue in person, I think is a little more lighter than what I was expecting. I was expecting more of a kind of a royal, deeper, blue than this bright kind of playful toyish look um so i guess a little disappointed there because i was expecting something a little little more blue uh kind of like maybe the box there and even in the picture you can tell it's kind of different uh, cause that's definitely a deeper blue. No matter, let's pop it on the track and see how this baby runs around. So I got my rear railer here, put it on over by San Francisco. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter which is front and which is back cause I'm pretty sure they're the exact, exact same thing. Um, well, these bottom things are definitely different. So that's interesting. I don't know. Well. Yeah, they're different. Interesting. But I guess it doesn't matter for this purposes of demonstration, so <laughs> let's just slide them on. That that thing rolls. But on the back, like it's still it's still moving. <laughs> okay. And then this guy. Look at that. I didn't touch a thing and they're they're rolling like crazy. Okay. Slide him way up there. I can get this engine on. I assume the panograph goes in the back because that's kind of how the seats look. Um, that that they go. Let's get this guy up. Do it authentically. Oop, that didn't stay. This feels very. Fragile. It's 
slider on down. Okay. That does not want to connect. There we go. One side. And the second side is struggling. Why are you struggling? There we go. Looks kind of neat on the track. Again, one of the reasons why I got it is because it does have Rapido connectors so I can add cars to it in the middle. Which would be nice because I got some cars that will match it. Um, some, whoop, some blue passenger cars there. Uh, will look snazzy right in the middle of all those. Uh, did we get any extra accessories? I don't think so. Nothing else to put on. Nothing in the box. Empty. So yeah, that's all she wrote. Let's see how it runs. Start it up here. Ooh. Very quiet. Looks great in motion, look at that. Pretty nifty. Uh, I think it will look better when I expand it with more cars. Got a couple front lights I can tell. Um, the motor is really quiet. What you hear is probably the wheel noise, which the wheel noise is fairly loud for this model. But no matter, I think it looks pretty neat. Alrighty, well, there's another unboxing video for you. I think it's a pretty darn good success in my book. Uh, like I said, at some point I'll do the eventual review of this thing, but pretty neat out of the box.